Marie Setti is committed to protecting her community and doesn't let anything stop her. She represents the best public service has to offer, and she's a trailblazer within the Bridgeport, Connecticut Police Department. But she does it with a little help. She has our back, but someone has hers. Public service comes in a lot of different forms, usually on two legs, sometimes on four. Well, if you were to ask anyone but me, um, they would tell you otherwise, but with me, he's a big baby. You know, he's a, mo he's a mama's boy. It's like having a kid. It's like ha uh, having a two-year-old kid in his terrible twos, I think, with him. I've been a police officer for eight years, three and a half of those eight with the dog. His name is Uno. He is a German Shepherd. He is from Czech Republic. He just turned five in March. He is about 95 pounds. He is a dual purpose canine, which means patrol, and he's also certified in narcotics. I'm actually the first female to be a canine police officer in the city of Bridgeport. It's, it's a pretty cool title to hold. When I was chosen to be the canine officer, we only got our dogs a few days prior to us going to the academy, so we didn't have much bonding time. It was hard at first, because he's looking at me like, who am I? I'm looking at him like, oh my goodness, what is he gonna do? And it's a learning experience. It's learning him, it's, it's him learning me, learning how to track, learning how to find evidence, to find people. It's constant repetition. That's how, that's what we did for four months, was, you know, trying to get him in contact with all the different elements. You're responsible for everything that dog does. He is, he is what I made, he is what I made him. I know he's great at what he does because I'm the one that instills that in him. I'm the one that trains with him on a daily basis. When he gets out of that car, he's looking, he's waiting for whatever commands I give him. You know, in the sticky situations, we're called because there's a burglar in a home. You know, they're looking, they're waiting for, they're waiting for us to, make sure that there's not a bad guy in the house before they can enter. They're calling Uno and I um, because, like I said, a guy just you know bailed out of a, a stolen vehicle that possibly has a gun because he is narcotic certified. I get called out to do warrant services as well as officers when they're pulling over cars and suspect that there is some sort of narcotic in the car for Uno's expertise with his nose. As police officers, we have to have each other's back no matter what. The union is just an extension of that and just being able to have some people who you know, are fighting for us while we're fighting for others when we're on the street, it's big. It's a family like anything else. I can't think of being a police officer without Uno and I. I tell him all the time, you better live to be 20, you better not get sick or hurt. Because <laughs> um, he's right there, you know, never lets me down. I've had other pets before, but it's different when he's your, you know, he's your partner. He's there to protect me. He's the one that's supposed to take a bullet before I do. That's hard to fathom. You know, he's my best friend, he's my partner. I'm grateful. If you know someone like Marie Setti, who never quits on the job, go to this website and nominate them for a Never Quit Award.